Welcome to the Rocket Roof Show, where we equip fellow roofers to do more commercial business every first and third Thursday of the month. It's time to launch your business to the next level. This is Project Command. Stand by our Three, two, one. Blast off! Hello, welcome back to another episode of the Rocket Roof Show here with your host, Andy Neer. Um, I own a small commercial roofing company in Michigan, and I also uh, am the admin for Commercial Roofers United, and also do this podcast as a uh, complimentary to both of those. And so, um, once again, the premise of this show is to equip and educate uh, contractors for the commercial roofing market. Um, and, uh, this particular episode is brought to you by top roof marketing. Um, they're one of the original, uh, sponsors of the show. And, uh, once again, they're doing a phenomenal job of helping guys in 2021 really get geared up for the new season. And, um, you know, right now marketing is really, really ramping up and rolling out, whether it's from SEO website creation or, uh, you know, uh, direct mail, um, they, they do it all. And so, uh, I, uh, encourage you to reach out to them if you have any of those needs. I emphasize they are in only the commercial market, not the residential. So uh, they really knock it out of the park on that. And so uh, today we are a little, we're just a few episodes over 30 episodes now. So we're really, really uh, rocking and rolling, getting um, quite a few episodes. So it's, it's really exciting to see uh, the amount of episodes wrap, ramping up. And uh, today I have in the studio uh, Todd Farr from uh, the boss law firm. He's the director of client relations at the boss law firm. And, um, it's kind of funny. My last name's near and, uh, I always wanted to meet Mr. Farr. And so, uh, uh, that's one little thing we have in common or maybe not in common, but, um, I'm going to uh, turn it over to Mr. Farr here. Todd, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me, Mr. Near. Yep. Uh, <laughs> great to so, be here. Uh, just give me in a nutshell a little bit, uh, what, what you do, and um, let's start about where you came from and how you got to where you're at today. Sure, sure, you bet, great question. So I've been in the roofing industry since about 2010. Um, I started out uh, selling for a roofing company. A buddy of mine owned a roofing company. It was a residential roofing company. Uh, from there, I transitioned into a bit of commercial. Um, and then I did a bit of marketing in the real estate industry. And so my current position is the uh, client relations uh, director here at the Voss Law Firm, which kind of combines the two, uh, the roofing world um, and the marketing world. So Sure, sure. Yeah. Okay. So uh, can you kind of explain in a nutshell what you do on a day-to-day -day basis? You bet. Great question. So here at the Voss Law Firm, uh, we specialize in underpaid, denied, or delayed insurance claims. So it's a group of policyholder attorneys. Uh, we do a lot of uh, insurance restoration claims. So uh, basically, uh, when a property owner uh, you know, has a claim, wind claim, hail claim, fire, flood, lightning, uh, as long as it's a covered loss uh, and they've been treated unfairly, we can help. Uh, a lot of times we will have roofers that will refer their clients to us when they recognize they're being treated uh, in this manner. And that's what we do. We've been fighting the good fight um, on the side of the policyholders uh, against the carriers for about 16 years now. Okay. Yeah. Now, I might feel a little bit inadequate for uh, interviewing you because we're not in a storm market. We're not really in a storm market. Um, my good buddy, Justin from Carolina, I tell him, Hey, everybody's in a storm market. Well, I think there's more heavily storm market, but we're in West Michigan. So we see some high wind. Yeah. We hail maybe once every six or seven years and it's very small. Yeah. Um, but, uh, but yeah. Um, so I, mean, I, I wish I had more storm experience so I could ask you good questions, but, yeah. Um, yeah, it's okay. but may, maybe I can ask questions from the ignorant side. So. Um, I do have a claim right now. I've been working with uh, the client for about nine months now. Um, yeah. it's, a, it's a pretty big commercial claim. And um, I think sometimes from a uh, contractor's point of view, at least from my point of view, I'm like, you know, it's going through the process, you know, and it, the, the engineers and the adjusters are dragging their feet and maybe they don't respond as often as you like to. Um, so I guess the first question should be, when do I realize that they're stalling 
and it, 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 it could be to my detriment and lose the job. When do I call somebody like you for help? Yeah, that, that's a great question. And you said it's been going on for about nine months. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. So really anytime, you know, that is one of the tactics, you know, they can delay, uh, deny or underpay. Sounds like they're delaying in this, you know, in this instance. Um, so actually now would be a great time to get us involved. Uh, but you can get us involved from the very beginning um, if you like, which is a really good time um, just to make sure things are buttoned up from the very beginning. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So this particular job, uh, it's like five or 600 square and we were only called in to do a 20 square section. Mm -hmm. And so that's what they approved. That's what we did. But we started tearing off. We realized there's not a panel that they don't make this panel anymore, this profile. So we went around and around to find a panel, to find a suitable replacement and um, just couldn't find it, couldn't find it. So we ended up putting a temporary panel back over. That's not a match at all, okay. but it keeps them watertight. So sure. that's kind of where we're at now. We're waiting to yeah. find out if the engineer can find something or whatever. So yeah, yeah, that's kind of where we're at. Yeah, no, we'd lo we'd love to hear more about it, you know, later and and yep. get involved if you need us to. So okay. not yeah. So uh, what parts of the country does somebody like you work in? I mean, they, is this something that can be taken most of it over uh, e uh, email and virtually, or is it something you have to physically come help with? Great question. So we handle claims across the entire United States. We're based out of Texas, but we've handled claims all over. A majority of it can be handled via email and phone call um, until you get into the heavy litigation, you know, then there'll be some air travel and, and whatnot. We always like to put boots on the ground too, uh, to take a look at the property at some yep. point. Uh, but most of it can be done via phone and email. Yeah. Okay. So, um, if you can, can you tell me a story of maybe one of your biggest wins you've had in the last year or two? Absolutely, absolutely. So um, we do have a portfolio owner. Uh, he has a, a pretty substantial uh, portfolio. Uh, asked us to take a look at his portfolio. Um, and there were some actual um, undiscovered covered losses on some of those properties. Uh, we were actually able to get a, a pretty sizable recovery uh, like for him so far, we're still working on it. Uh, but that was a, that was a pretty good win for him. So, you know, especially in this, in this time, uh, during the whole COVID lockdown, um, a lot of times, uh, you know, certain tenants will be leaving a building and, and so forth. Uh, so the landlord's kind of stuck, right? His revenues are down. Uh, so in this instance, um, you know, he was able to, um, have funds for a full roof replacement and, and HVAC, you know, during this time, which is a, which is a great win for the property owner. Uh, it's a great win for the roofers. Um, and so it just, it just works out. So, sure. yeah. So you're uh, down in one of the areas of Houston, Texas. I'm on the edge of Houston, Texas. And um, of course, I've, most people know now that uh, there was a, a big event there a few weeks ago, um, Texas, uh, they were getting Michigan temperatures. Yes. And so, and uh, that might be okay for a day, but this was for four or five week. Like, yeah, yeah. extended period of time. And those houses, for many, many reasons, are not built to, uh, to withstand those kind of temperatures. And so um, how, does, how does your company come into play with that scenario? We'd like to take just a quick break to thank our sponsor, Top Roof Marketing, a full-service marketing group that specializes in the commercial roofing industry. If you're looking to boost the commercial side of your business, they have lots of ideas to connect you with building owners who are looking for help. Visit TopRoofMarketing.com. It's a great question. So this winter storm event happened uh, at the end of Valentine's Day going into President's Day, and it lasted for about a week. Uh, it's pretty unprecedented here in Texas. It's, it's been pegged as the largest um, weather claims event in Texas history. So um, I heard it's going to surpass uh, Hurricane Katrina. Absolutely, absolutely, because it happened all over the state. It was every city, every town in Texas. So you're talking about, um, you know, water pipes, you know, bursting all over the state, residential and commercial. No matter how uh, expensive or inexpensive the house is. 
It doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. So it was, it was, it's definitely pretty widespread. Um, and so you can imagine um, that type of exposure with the carriers, yep. uh, you know, what that means. And so a lot of times, you know, their only, their only defense is to, you know, sometimes they could underpay, deny or delay. Yeah. And unfortunately, uh, the policyholder usually gets the short end of the stick. So that's where we step in, defend the policyholder, um, you know, hold the carrier's feet to the fire and, and, uh, and make sure that they're not acting in, in bad faith. Right. So, uh, you know, I know years ago, um, Miami Dade came into effect where they started saying, okay, now because we get hurricanes, we get a lot of weather, we're gonna have to start, you know, enforce, you know, upgrading our requirements. And so they've gotten pretty strict, um, and uh, you think something like, that, like that's going to happen in Texas, or you think they, they're going to look at it as a freak event? You know, it's interesting. It's it's very interesting. It's unprecedented. So it's it affects every industry here. I know the real estate industry is changing. You know, uh, folks are going to be paying a lot of attention uh, to the pipes, what kind of pipes are in the structure, oh, yeah. how, how well they're insulated. Uh, you know that like that sort of thing. Um, and so it's it's really changing things a lot down here. You know. Um, and, and it's, we got a taste of what it feels like to live in the North. <laughs> you yeah, know? for sure. For sure. Uh, it was, it was pretty unprecedented, but it's, it has created a lot of insurance claims. Uh-huh. And uh, right now we're seeing a lot of those come in where they're being uh, basically underpaid or just flat out, you know, flat out uh, denied. Okay. And a lot of it, um, sometimes it comes down to the policy. So sometimes it's policy specific. Um, you know, so uh, we definitely like to look at the policyholders' uh, policies, see if there's any exclusions or endorsements in there. Okay. So uh, this particular show is primarily um, on commercial roofing. So give me a couple of uh, pointers on what a commercial roofer, when I'm when I'm called out to maybe look at a repair. Sure. And, sure. Uh, I don't really think about insurance. I'm just like, I'm going to go out and look at this, and then I find some damage. Yeah. What's a couple of things that I should be red flags I should be looking for that maybe think, hey, I might I might need to call Todd. Sure, absolutely. Um, it depends, you know, it depends on the on on how extensive you know the damage um, is. You know, if you if you think it's hail, if it's wind, if it's a busted pipe, and you just kind of envision this thing getting out of control, you know, based off your experience. I mean, you're here you are dealing with a, a carrier and it's been nine months, right? Yeah. So we want to try to avoid that situation. So if you can get us involved as early as possible, we highly recommend that. Uh, that's always uh, uh, the best thing. And um, maybe talk to your policyholder. We're happy to talk to anyone at any time. And usually uh, when a law firm is involved from the very beginning, sometimes uh, the carrier knows uh, that, hey, they mean business. Like it, it, yeah. it's taken a little bit more serious, you know. You ever have that scare a customer away when they're like, oh, oh, you know, I, I kind of like my insurance company. I don't want to scare right. them away with the law. How do you deal with that issue? Sure, absolutely, all the time. You know, we all like insurance. It's all necessary. You know, we all need it uh, for sure. But never want to use it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. But it's there, it's, it's there for a purpose. That's yep. why it's there, right? Yep. If, if you have a loss uh, that's legitimate, then you have the right to utilize it. And so that's why we're here. Uh, you know, a lot of people think, hey, you know, uh, my insurance company is going to drop me. My rates are going to go up. You know, they can choose not to renew you, uh, but they usually can't just, you know, drop you right away. Right. Um, and so, but in that event, it really puts the policyholder in the driver's seat uh, because when you get a new roof, you've got every carrier in the world wanting your business. Um, and it's, it's usually not a problem to get placed with another carrier, uh, if, if that happens, you know, and you're truly in the driver's seat, you've got a new roof, you've got a new HVAC, um, it increases your property value, uh, your tenants love it, you know, because the property is no longer leaking or, or whatnot. So it's truly a win-win. Um, sometimes you have to have the appetite, um, like, you know, for the long road, uh, the long haul, but if you can be patient, uh, you're usually, usually rewarded. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. So, uh, I'm not sure what other questions to ask. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. It's, 
it's all good. No, it's um, it's it's pretty interesting because on the on the roofer side of things, you know, roofers can help out, you know, a lot. I mean, uh, you guys are the experts. You know the property, um, you know the roof, uh, you know the policyholder, and we want to treat your customer uh, the same way uh, with kid gloves. You know, mm -hmm. uh, when you turn your customer over to us, so we want to do our best to give regular updates, uh, do our best to progress uh, the case as fast as possible. Sometimes uh, things will get held up a little bit, you know, in the legal system. Mm -hmm. um, and that just has to do with scheduling, uh, you know, judges, you know, scheduling uh, their court appearances and, and so forth. So, uh, but we're pressing as, as hard and fast as we can here. Um, and, uh, and we like to say that, we're on, on the right side of things. So, okay, cool. Yeah. So how does uh, the payment work? Do you work on a, a percentage of the gross or a fixed rate or hourly a, or what? Yeah, that's a great question. So uh, that's why folks like using us because we're contingency fee based. Mm -hmm. uh, we earn our keep. Um, so we only get paid if we get a great settlement on behalf of the policyholder. Okay. Uh, the policyholder is the boss. They call all the shots, make all the, all the decisions. We prevent, uh, we present all offers uh, to the policyholder. Um, we're not hourly. And if we're unsuccessful in a recovery, we're never going to come to the policyholder and say, hey, here's our hourly bill. You owe us this much. That's yeah. not going to happen. So um, we have to front all expenses. Um, if there's experts that are needed, uh, you know, forensic accountants, engineers, scope writers, we will front those costs. Uh, but then those uh, those expenses will come out in the end on, on the backside uh, as part of the gross settlement. So okay, yeah, interesting. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's kind of a it's kind of a neat model because um, as a property owner, as a policyholder. Um, it really doesn't cost you anything uh, to engage us. It's a it's a true win win. You know, yep. uh, you're going from zero, at, like you know, sometimes to a, a very substantial uh, recovery. So, have you ever had anybody call you with a issue and and you say, well, in that situation, we we really can't help you. What kind of situation would that be? Sure, exactly, and that's a great question. Uh, we're getting some of that right now in this, in the winter storm event, you know, a lot of things have to do uh, with the damage model. Uh, you know, how much, how much damage do you have? Um, what's your deductible, you know, is it under your deductible, above your deductible? Um, and, and does it make sense for us to get involved? Is it, is it a win-win, you know? Um, we'll look at the, at the expense of, of, of taking on a client, uh, you know, because we front all those expenses. So if their damages aren't that much and we foresee having to engage an engineer and a scope writer and, and just seeing the expenses, you know, outweigh, outweigh the case, then we're going to advise them, uh, like, like maybe hold off right now, you know? So we always look at that and look at it, uh, from the best interest of the policy holder. So we have found that if we take care of the policyholder first and foremost, uh, things usually take care of themselves. Sure. Now you don't actually do any of the uh, pushing and callback, and that's still up to the roofing contractor, right? To like follow up with the. Uh, you're not like replacing all the groundwork that the roofing contractor should be doing. Uh, as far as, as follow as, up and follow up and calling the adjuster and. Um, oh, all that sort of stuff. Up. Well, basically, yeah. Um, when we do take on a client, uh, we take over the whole thing. So, oh. yeah. Okay. And that's why, and that's why roofers love us is because we truly take it off your plate. You know, um, you've done so much work, you hand it over to us and, and you can concentrate on your, on your daily business versus, versus the fight. We take over the fight. So we yep. truly take it off the plate of the roofer and the policy holder. Okay. Very interesting. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so it, it actually frees up your time. Sure. Yeah. Sure. And so you guys are all familiar and up to date, or you do get up to date on like current codes and current uh, requirements that uh, each state or each municipality might have. That's, that's correct. You know, and in that sense, I don't know, want to have to do all that research. If I, right, right. Yeah. 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 You don't want to do that. You know, um, 
we like to help ensure that our policyholders um, get what's coming to them as far as you know what's allowed under their policy, what's allowed under state law. Code uh, upgrades. Upgrades, um, you know, code, you know, OSHA, everything. So um, it's important uh, for us uh, to maximize what they have coming to them, you know, that they're not shortchanged at all. You know, sometimes it doesn't happen all the time, but sometimes carriers, you know, they can offer 10 cents on the dollar, you yeah. know, and so. Well, no this might be a dumb question because because I'm, 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 I'm not a, from a store market, but so a lot of guys in here might be get, asking that this question in their head right now is, well, what's the difference between you and a supplementer? So can you clarify that difference? Yeah, yeah, that's a great question, um, Andy. So uh, basically a supplementer, it's like, okay, the job's been approved, but they didn't approve these supplements that need to happen. You know, there's, you know, there's this type of edge metal or, you know, there's, you know, this thickness of insulation. Can we just work it out usually with the desk adjuster? And sometimes that's pretty effective, you know, um, you'll see what they're going to pay and then you have your supplements and you can send it into the desk adjuster and be pretty effective, you know, dealing with them. Mm -hmm. Where we get involved is when the entire claim is either underpaid, it's denied or it's delayed. So th okay. that's, that's, that's really our specialty. Okay. Yeah. Well, very cool. I'm glad you're on today. And um, I'm sure there'll be comments uh, on when we when we post this uh, on Thursday live. And, sure. um, and so uh, we'll do the best to answer them. Maybe you'll be on uh, when that happens. But uh, um, thank you for being on today. And if somebody wanted to reach out to you, um, do you mind leaving some of your contact information? What's the best way to what's what would be the best way to get a hold of you? Absolutely. So I'll give you my direct phone number first, uh, which is 832-278-9378. 832-278-9378. My email is Todd, that's T-O-D-D, at VossLawFirm.com. That's V is in victory, O-S-S, -S, lawfirm.com. You can uh, look us up on the web at DeniedClaim.com deniedclaim.com and we we handle any covered loss so fire flood wind hail uh busted pipes um as long as there's a policy involved and it's covered we can help you out very cool yeah. well i appreciate you joining me today and um that was a lot of information and uh i think it'll be a benefit to a lot of our listeners so um i know insurance is getting to be uh, a, a more uh, commonly sought, uh, you know, way to help customers out, clients out that a lot of contractors haven't utilized in the past. And so a lot of them uh, want to know how to do that. And, and this just gives them another option to be able to uh, help the customer out more with, with uh, options that they didn't know about before. So thank you. Uh, thank you for being on and um, have a great night. Absolutely. From far to near. I appreciate That's right. it. From, from near to far. <laughs> You've been listening to the Rocket Roof Show podcast. Be sure to subscribe through your favorite podcasting platforms such as iTunes or Google Play to get the latest episodes as they are launched. For more, please follow us on social media or visit our website at rocketroofshow.com. We look forward to joining you here again soon at the next launch.